we don't want the SD card to record. Oh, we are live. Okay. Just kidding. So this thing <laughs> just told me that some SD card was on, but it's not. <laughs> We're live. Welcome to Cast Iron <laughs> and Canning Jars. Chelsea got that all figured out now. I th want to thank you all for being patient with us yesterday when we weren't able to come on, but for being with us today, for coming and being with us. And I tell you, I was up at the shop this morning until about four, and then I came home and Chelsea met me and Bonnie. And so we're here ready to do the show. And again, I want to thank you all for coming and being with us. Like Italians, when you come in, it feels like I got a whole house full of company. So, you know, we're going to have our show today. And I just want to see if you guys can hear us. We've got mics on today. So we're trying it out. We've also got the old Mevo camera that we used a while back. So we've got that in. We've got this. So if you see me looking over here, it's because I'm looking at my phone and it has us on there. And I've got to make sure that we're, you can, this is what you guys see. Make, so make sure, just making sure that you can hear us. Yeah. Okay, Miss Chelsea. <laughs> yes. What is our housekeeping stuff today? Uh, make sure that you guys sprinkle or share. Let us know where you're from. We are in Ohio, Zeno, Ohio, but Mammy's originally from Morgan County, Kentucky. So, um, so if you're from there, hi. If you're from here, hi. If you're from anywhere, hi. 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 <laughs> what, mom? Oh yeah, I'm sure. Yep. Okay. And so Chelsea, you left. The, let me hold the bag today because I'm doing all the cooking, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Chelsea gets the day off because she's been she's been a grand na nanny for the last four so or five days. The reason why we didn't end up going, so we we were going to go. And then I had one of my kids get sick. We didn't want to get anybody else sick. So Mammy was just going to do it by herself. Well, then she got stuck at the shop because people were um, painting. And it was going to just have to be pushed back and pushed back. So we were like, we'll just do it tomorrow and Chelsea will be here too. There you go. <laughs> and I know we miss Chelsea when she's not around. Miss Bonnie helps me out. So I'm grateful for that too, her and Joyce. Mom okay. Said she can't find us. Oh, she found, she found us. us. Okay. All right, so we're going to have beef with uh, stewing beef fried and fixed with potatoes and onions, and it'll cook in its own gravy. So and we're, good. It's our and favorite. We're going, yeah, it is one of the <laughs> favorites. And then we're going to have some fried corn. Now, there ain't nothing like shucking that corn. Chelsea shucked it real quick. I didn't know how many uh, how many muscles you use when you shuck corn. I can <laughs> feel them, and I don't know what's because I was you know, sleeping in different beds than I normally do. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, maybe I slept Yeah, wrong. yeah. See, and it does take a lot, but we steam ours when we put it in the freezer. So that's, the, you know, it comes off real easy like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get the beef started. And I'm going to turn the camera so don't get started quite yet, Mammy. Okay. I mean, you can, but just... Okay. We're going to be turning and moving this down. All righty. Okay. And I'm going to move it a little bit further. So they can see what you're doing. Turn it a little bit. There we go. Okay. I went ahead and put my skillet on preheat. And I'm going to just put my lid over there. Because this is one you need to use a lid on. So I'm going, even though it's not a cast iron skillet, I'm going to put a little salt on the, no, on the bottom of it. Sorry, Chelsea. <laughs> on the bottom of my skillet, even though it's not cast iron. And, uh. I just get in the habit of doing it with the cast iron. Are you okay? It. Nope, I gotta get it situated. Okay. She's about to I'm put about it to in the her. floor. I told her not to move things. So. That's what she told me. There we go. But I, I don't some, touch nothing, okay? I don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Nothing. Oh my goodness, guys. She's asking me to do the impossible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of bacon grease in here. To get it to get our meat started because I want to brown it a little bit. I'm going to roll it in flour and some uh, garlic and uh, pepper uh, salt and and just regular salt is what I'm going to put in. So I'm going to go ahead and and get that in the skillet and let it start to to um, melt. And then I'm going to take about I've got my stewing beef here. We're doing opposite here so I'm Having a hard time figuring out where the camera is. Where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> so here's our stewing beef. And I've got a little over a cup of flour. I'm going to just sprinkle in here on top of it because I'm going to roll it around and get it coated. 
So I put that in there. And then I'm going to um, use my garlic and pepper. I've got a new bottle of it, so I, I didn't even look to see if, if I had... Oh, I'd already took the top off of it then. Okay, now I have to wash it good because I'm getting my get my floury fingers all over it. I'll have to wipe it. I don't it. see the sweet kitty back here. Uh, <laughs> those sweet, well, sweet kitties think it's their supper time. So they'll probably be in here the whole time that we're in here because I usually well, feed them. Oh, the bottom of the cast iron skillet in my Oh, well, it helps to keep stuff from sticking. And I just got, you know, I got used to doing that. And so I just put a little dab on on that one too now uh, but on the cast iron it works really well and oh my goodness when you make your cornbread just uh, sprinkle you some salt on the bottom you know that just oh just makes it so good and crunchy and well it doesn't make it crunchy when you bake it it gets crunchy and uh, you can it's good and salty too sort of like a frito okay i'm gonna chelsea's got me got me all all uh, bound up here I'm going to have to stretch out a little bit. How long have you been bound up? <laughs> well, I'm I'm, you know how I am. My mind doesn't change like yours do as fast. It's a little it's a little slow. Bonnie's tickled about something in here. Oh, Lord. My mind. Shoo. You know how that is. Now, this was some nice looking stewing beef that Bonnie, I think Bonnie got this. We was, and then Bobby Ray come in with a a big uh, old package of it. So I went ahead and used Bonnie's. We'll, I told him we'll fix his with something else. Now I'm going to get it all covered here or do my best. And my skillet, I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. You're on about medium. Now that's about three sticks of wood if you're working in the other, <laughs> in the other kitchen. <laughs> so I'd really rather be making this in there on the kitchen. Tell you instead of on my cook stove, but have more room, you? yeah, we would. <laughs> I can work a whole lot better in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I know Bonnie or Chelsea, there's going to be flour all over everything, but it's all right. It'll wash off. Gotta watch because you were touching raw meat. Oh, so. you're absolutely right. Otherwise, it's yeah, I know. I just you know. I know, I just know that people are going to say something. <laughs> uh, I'm a being careful and, you know. I don't have any kids either. I don't have no kids. But well, I claim a lot of kids some weekends. <laughs> and nephew, yeah, I got some nieces and nephew. Yep, always. She, but I nannied three kids this weekend. Weekend before I did four. Weekend before I did three. This weekend I'm not. She's, um, she's well, off. She comes in high demand around here. But she's not a plumber, though. <laughs> I can nope. tell you, she's not. That's a joke. Okay. About to get them in here. I need just a little bit more baking grease. I'll stick around the corners there. We'll get this started, and I'll turn it up just a tad more, not much, because I don't want to, turning all these is going to be the trick once I get it uh, in here. Now, I don't want to double them up on one another, because this probably won't have much shrinkage in it. So, there we go. There we go. Looks and starting to sizzle down in there, so it's a getting... It's a getting pretty good here. All right. Now, there we go. I'm going to set this over here on the counter. There we go. And I'm going to wash my hands off here real quick. I got the spray. I'm, I'm, I'm a little taller than Manny, so I can't get <laughs> You probably can't hear me because I forgot I got muted. I'm muted. Oh, yeah. Now I'm not. So I'll say hi while Mammy does that. <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> You are something else. She's. I thought I'd give her a rest since uh, since she was busy, has been so busy for so long. Okay. We don't like me. bacon grease around here. Yes, we do like bacon grease. Do y'all like great bacon grease? I do. 
I love it. But now I've got so I don't eat the bacon for some reason. I just, the bacon seems so watery and I can't get it hardly fried the way that I, I like it fried. And uh, so I like mine fried real crispy and I can't get it. Seems like it's watery. It fries and, you know, doesn't, doesn't do like what I'm used to. Except like I said before, the Joel bacon. Now that's, that's some good bacon and don't seem like it's as watery. Well, it's not at all, not some, it's not at all. I don't know about you all, but the time I get it done, I'll be hungry as a bear. I'm trying to, there we go. Now I'm gonna put the lid on it here and we'll go ahead and start the, um, start the corn, Chelsea. Okay. Okay. Yep. Because we're the other way instead of up and down. They're going to expand it and turn their tongue back sideways. Yes. So, here, let me show you from my mom's phone real quick. Chelsea's going to give you a lesson here. Why I salt my skillet. How's that? So. Wait a minute. I'll get out of your way here, Chelsea. Go ahead. All right. So, here's the, um, the picture of the camera, of our video. So you're gonna have to click on it. I can do it. Oh, I'm already clicked on it. So turn your phone, why isn't your phone going to the, oh. Hold on. There we go. You guys just gotta turn it just like that and it'll expand it so that you can see all of it. So. <laughs> Okay. That makes sense. You just got to make it bigger because we're not up and down. Oh, shoot. Okay. All right, Chelsea. All right, hold on just a second. Let me, get, let me get them moved a little bit. Okay. You can see what you're doing. There we go. Okay. Man, she's earning her keep, isn't she? Now I'm going to take my bacon grease again. I'm going to put me... I'm going to put me some in my corn now. We're eating healthy tonight. A lot. No, we're not eating healthy, but it'll be good. Well, yeah. I never have. My lab work and stuff always comes back real good. So, I mean, I am I must be doing something right. Even my A1C came back. I think I was, what was I, six, Bonnie, or five something? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it wasn't anything be concerned about. I do not keep it secret. Listen to her. You guys listen to her. She says I do, but I don't. Now I'm going to put my, uh, let my grease melt. Yes, our heads are rarely in the picture um, just because we want to make sure that you can see what we're cooking. Um, we don't have a big kitchen to be able to like set it up on something that you're able to see both. We have a tiny kitchen, so we're working with what we got. Yeah, it's a, uh, what they call a galley kitchen. So, but my, in where my coal stove's at, it's a whole lot bigger than this, you know, but we love it, you know, and hopefully we can get the, get the job done here. Now I went ahead and Chelsea shook my corn and she, I cut it off the cob and I raked my cob so that I could get all that creamy stuff off of it. And, um, uh, you know, as always, there's a few, um, of the, uh, the, the silks on on the um, corn, so you have to watch and get them off. So, <laughs> oh, do they? Bonnie says it helps your kidneys. Well, that's a good thing. Oh, okay. Well, wait and let me see if we can sizzle it, Chelsea. Hold on, let me see. You're right. You're gonna keep me straight. I tell these people it takes. You just getting too big a hurry, man. It takes a village to raise my mammal. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yep. See, she's one of the kids that calls me mamma. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yep. But you don't really want to know what Bonnie calls me sometimes. Mom. Oh, girl. Yep. There we go. We're sizzling, Chelsea. You okay with me putting it in there? I'm good. Okay. Why don't I do that? I'm going to just... 
put it in my skillet here. It looks pretty good. Uh huh. Wonder how long it'd been pulled, Bonnie. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty good. I'm going to just put that over on the sink and wipe my hands off here a little bit. Okay. And let me take a peek at this while that's a starting to. Oh, yeah. Don't... Nevo's connection was lost. Did you get it back? Not yet. Oh. Okay, now it's back. Okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of the salt. Because I, I put I put some on the bottom of my skillet, so I'm not going to put as much as I normally would in the corn. And I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup of sugar. Well, not hardly, not hardly a fourth. It leave just a tad out. I like it real, real sweet like that, but everybody doesn't, so I don't want to, don't want to put something in there that they, everybody don't like. So, okay, I'm going to just stir that up a little bit, and then with that, I'm going to. Um, it's attempting to reconnect again. Oh shoot! Are we going? Do we need to use that or? I mean, we're already using it. Okay. And so I'm going to pour. We're still okay? Okay. I'm going to pour about, what is this, Joe? Three-fourths cup of milk in. That'll help it to thicken up and be creamy when we need it to be. Now, Chelsea, mm -hmm. you want to keep your eye on that corn and when it comes to a Just leave it alone until it comes to a boil. Okay. I'm going to get back over here and turn this meat. Now, I need to turn it. So it's because it's starting to brown, and we'll want to uh, get ready to put our potatoes and onions in. <laughs> it does smell awful good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And then it's going. I'm going to put water in on it, and that's going to make its own gravy. And we don't want it to. We want to try to keep it from. It wants to get tough. So, how did I want? You know, I just don't know. I I know we, I've cooked it for, I've fixed it all the time, but I don't know where I saw somebody. Obviously, well, maybe one of my friends cooking it, and I wanted to try it out, and I did, and we all like it. Want to be just like them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you want to be just like me, right? Right. <laughs> when, when you... Yeah, Joyce knows. Oh, yeah, this is one of her favorites, too. I might, You know, I we live right next door, so we threaten getting us a can and stretching it back and forth from each other's house. So we can, in the wintertime, we can pass stuff back and forth when we cook. Because she cooks... Sometimes, and I cook sometimes. Uh, well, I don't know. Chelsea, or Bon, they say I'm losing my hearing, but I'm really not. But that's what they tell me. So sometimes I hear somebody say something, and I answer the wrong way to it, and they'll say, you're answering the wrong way to it right now. Oh my gosh, what was said? Um, the, it's squirrel season in Missouri. Are you going to show how to fix oh. squirrels? <laughs> I missed that one <laughs> all the way around, guys. I don't know what in the world I thought I <laughs> thought they said to me. Oh my goodness, I'm going to have to say. Oh my goodness. Woo. Well, yes, I don't mind. I used to be... I. <laughs> I don't know what I thought I heard her say, but it wasn't cooking squirrel, though, whatever it was. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. Don't get me in trouble and tell my secrets. Now, Chelsea, I'm going to step over here and drain my drain my uh, potatoes. I can hear. I'm going to show them what the corn, corn's doing. We've got it on about, I've got it on seven. Maybe had it on six. I don't like six. I'm an odd number person, so. Well, you better odd it down a little bit then. If you've got it, if you're doing that. 
Oh, Lord, none. Oh, I thought you said. Oh. Bless her heart. She just keeps hearing all kinds of stuff in her head. <laughs> That's the bad part. Nobody but me hears it. Oh, okay, here. Let me get over. What here. our corns are looking like so far. That bacon had a little bit of little this is in specs in it. I'm not it? mad about it. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just scoot that over on that. We'll hurt it a bit. And I'm going to. Oh, I've covered it up. Well, I had mine turned off until just now. Okay, I'm going to put my potatoes in here. Chelsea don't know what to do with herself not cooking. Okay, I'm going to just put them over top. There we go. And then we're going to... There we go. I'm going to put this pan over. Do what? No, no, I'm going to salt them here in just a minute. I'm going to get my onions on first, though. I didn't cut them up because I wanted them to be fresh. So, get my onions ready to go. And then I'll salt everything and put the lid back on it. And Chelsea, would you get me a bottle of water, please? There we go. And I'm sorry, guys. I have my, uh, my mic muted. So, that's why you couldn't hear me right now. It's on. So, I hope you can hear me right now. But I'm keep muting it so that I don't talk over Mammy. Lord, you can't talk over Mammy. I don't like her. No. Okay. There we go. And just break them and put them in rings and stroll them around your potatoes here. And you go like this. Someone asked if you were going to put carrots in. How would you do? Well, no, but that would be good. That would really be good, though. And it would probably turn out very much like beef stew because the time it makes its gravy and stuff, why well, it would turn out really good. Now, I don't have to be so particular with my, um, with my stirring my meat because I can just reach in with a fork. Now, again, I'm going to put a little more of the garlic on and uh, fix it, use a little more of it before I put my salt on. The garlic and the pepper. That's not coarse pepper either. Well, I'm going to have to smack this thing. Oh, there we went. Can you stick a knife in it? No, it's all right. I got it. Oh, now it's working like a, like a clock. You want to turn that down a little bit, Chelsea, so it'll get done? What? In the, I mean, it'll cook. But You're trying to knock me around. Yeah, I am. A little bit. Mom said so put a little butter in Oh, it. okay. Well, you go ahead, but I've got my bacon grease in it, Bonnie. What are you trying to do? Just because you cook doesn't mean you use butter and grease, too. When I make my artichoke spaghetti, I put use olive oil and butter. Yeah, somebody was uh, talking about your um, artichoke spaghetti. Yeah, well, for some reason, I can't find the video for it either. Huh. I don't know where. I've got to wash my hands here just a minute. Because I got in my salt box and got out the salt. And, uh, whew, got to get it off of my hands. Well, now, what'd you do with my lid, Chelsea? It's right here. Oh, there it is. I had it on my corn. I know I had to stir the corn. <laughs> I'm going to put my water in here. This is a great big skillet full of stuff here. You'd think we was going to have somebody over for supper. <laughs> That's the truth. Okay. I believe I'm going to need about a, another half a bottle. Okay, I'll go get it. Okay. Then I'm going to turn it down here just a smidgen. Didn't need any wood that time. I just I turned it down. I'm telling you, they do not make these these bottles for everybody to open. Sometimes they are hard to get open. Yeah, I do have old hands. Okay. Not very kind. Now let me. Uh, I'm going to turn it. Let me get my spatula here. I'm going to turn it real quick. Did I put my? No, she did not put meat tenderizer on the meat. No. Uh. -uh. 
You're right. That's our resident uh, kitchen commentator, Miss Bonnie. I, can they hear you? I hope so. Not much now that Tony's mic. Oh. Here, I'm going to. I'm just going to un. Do you want me to do that? No. Uh -uh. I'm just getting the meat off the bottom because I don't want it. And I'll let it fry. Well, you know what? This is working pretty good. I like this one myself. I got two of them. Oh, his fatty. Oh, Lord. I told them I should have fed them their supper before we started, but I didn't really didn't think about it. Okay, now we're going to go. There we go. We'll get it started. I know I've got bigger spatulas. I was looking for my old, old one that I've got, but. Did you really? There. Oh, that corn is looking good, guys. Those little bits of bacon in it's really going to be good. Oh, they can't see what you're doing, Mammy. Oh, well, shoot. You're slipping, Chelsea. Are you? That's what our corns are looking like. My mamma used to make this. Oh, it was so good. She, they go out and gather the corn right out of the garden and bring it in and, and shuck it. And cut it off the cob. Boy, you talk about good. Lord, you know, I, I used to can corn. And I never will forget the first few times. There's a silk. The first few times that I did, I didn't realize I had to leave it down on the shoulder of the, uh, the jar. And I filled it right up, you know, like you do with anything. And, uh, well, was I in trouble. Because it burst. Because, you know, it has to expand. When it expands in the jar, why well, it'll just burst the jar. And uh, I learned a real quick lesson on that one. But uh, I but I used to can it, but I like it frozen better now. Since my neighbor across the road taught me how to do it. Do what, Bonnie? I like Captain Crunch. Yeah. What made you call that Captain Crunch? Oh, really? Did, how did you make it? Oh. Oh well, we're gonna to have to get her a mic. She she's a fountain of knowledge, so we want her to share her her stuff with us. All right, it's beginning to cook now, and our potatoes will get get good and done. I was looking to see where my kittens had went. They went in there at the door, set wait to go outside. I think maybe I fed the outside cats and forgot them today. Somebody don't like how we're eating, Mamie. What's wrong with how we're eating? I'm fat, high carb. Oh. We're gonna get diabetes. Well, God that's love why us. We're fat. Well, that's okay. You know, everybody eats to suit themselves. I don't, you know. We don't eat like this every day. Oh really Lord, no. meal. yeah, this is our Sunday meal, but we it's okay. Good. But thank you for the concern, you know. But you know, Southern folks eat a little, a little different. But then, we, you know, we always got out and did a lot of hard, hard work back in the day, and, and still do. yeah, we still do some. Not do you like still we did do some? Then. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Let me look. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I got. Yep. Is it's it, Pampered Chef. I think you gave I it love, to me. I did. You, no, you stole it, probably. Oh. <laughs> she likes. Y'all hear that? She Ooh. likes to come in and steal stuff from me. Ah, uh, Chelsea. Well, see there. <laughs> she, Bonnie took it from Chelsea's grandma, and now I took it from them. Uh oh. Not really. Oh well, huh. Don't be, don't be having me tell big stories now, Bonnie. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Debbie, for letting me know that you found it. It's the garlic funk pan one. 
Fred Buck can, and we made the garlic from 21. I mean, it was that long ago. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 2022. Oh, just kidding. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Chelsea. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the jam that y'all made last week. Let me go get All it. All right. Yeah. All right. What do y'all think someone it turned out? It. Oh, someone else made it. Oh, great. Yeah, they wrote it and they made it. It was delicious. Uh-huh. They made it and it was delicious. So that is good. But we so got to see. the verdict is. The verdict is, look at here. We got topping. We got topping. And I could tell you why. Because <laughs> this lady in here, Bonnie, comes in and starts telling me when to do it. And when to add stuff, and she oh, let me makes a lot of topping, so that's who she I'm does. gonna say. I'm gonna say that she's not a jam jelly maker. I'm not <laughs> either, guys. I can make apple butter because you can just put it in the oven, you know, and let it cook in there. So apple butter's, you know, relatively easy to make. But we also make it out over the open fire. In fact, Chelsea has a fall party, and that was one of the things everybody brought their apples, and we had a contest of who could peel without breaking the, the skin, you know, or without uh, the peel, you know, just to peel the whole apple without breaking the peel. And uh, one of our friends, Donna, her mother, God love her, she just beat the socks off of us. I thought I had that one in the bag. And she, why, she just peeled that apple and it was just nope. all, the peel was all right in, you know, all together when she got done. Now, mine broke a time or two, but Anyway, we had a lot of fun. There were some young folks that had not done that much apple peeling, so that was fun. And then um, we made the apple butter, and then we put it in jars, and everybody took some home with them. And so that was really neat. Even in the fridge, it's still topping. Yeah. But I'm still yeah. going to eat it on. It is delicious, It's though, really guys. good. It's very chocolatey. you got to like chocolate. Yeah, it is. Very, very well, chocolatey. The powder was off. wasn't. It was regular. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Mm. Our corn's gonna be ready when the before the rest is. Oh yeah. Now, and you milking. know what? We use all kinds of apples. Everybody just brought what they like, and we put those apples together, and it was absolutely delicious. I don't, you know, I don't even only apple that I eat an apple that I really care about is Macintosh. And you know you can't get them all year long, so, you know. But I, I start getting them as soon as they come around. I'm going to move that over. Oh, my goodness, it smells so good. You going to make cornbread, somebody said? Not tonight. Oh, I might. <laughs> Not, I, oh, well, that would be good. If Aunt Joyce did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You mean there's more than us? Oh. Uh, boy, this is good now. The potatoes are they're tender. They're getting tender now. The potatoes are and the meat. The onions haven't wilted down yet. There we go. That's what it's looking so like. Good, See the gravy in it? It's starting to turn a little bit there where it's going to thicken up in a bit. Okay. Do you want to share anything while this? Yeah, is let me let me go ahead and share. Okay. Um, children, I didn't even think about making cornbread. I'm gonna make cornbread. I'm gonna Aunt, this Aunt Joyce while may. She's in there. Aunt Joyce may or check. Make sure she's not. Okay. Let's go in here. I don't have too much today to talk about. <laughs> this works, Chelsea, to I death. Have two of these. You know. Oh my goodness, girl. So we're actually going to have to figure this out because it's back. Okay. I'm just going to have to be the cameraman right here. You're going to be the cameraman. Look at this, Hold Chelsea. On, I'm gonna it's going to freeze up. There we go. Sorry, guys. Just Has to... anybody ever seen this kind of a little feller? Get a close-up of it, Chelsea. It says reliable. And what else does it say there, Joyce? It's, or Chelsea. It's got a I'm real a pretty little scene Hold on. on it. Okay. It's real. It's real pretty. And uh, I said this is our. This is the modern day Swiffer. Isn't it Swiffer's what everybody uses? Well, this is yes. this is back in the day when 
It wasn't a Swiffer. You had to work. Uh oh. I, no, it was already broke. You gotta, you gotta have to. You got, I got glue. And we got, you guys, they are so silly. Anyway, it, it is so pretty, but you just run it across your rug. I've got a small one that I use, you know, on days when I don't feel like we're getting out the vacuum cleaner. I'll just grab that little one and go a with fuller, it. Fuller, is it fuller? Fuller brush. Is that the ones they are? I think the small one. No, I know. Mine's not. Mine's from Aldi. Hi, Donna. So. We were just talking about your mom peeling apples out here. She just came on. But this is, uh, like I say, this is so pretty. I, I mean, I think it's just pretty to leave sitting around somewhere, and I wouldn't dare leave my stuff sitting around the house, but this is kind of cute. So I thought I would uh, share that with you, and it's called Reliable, and it could be made by Fuller. I didn't have time to get down and look at it. Bobby Ray brought it in to me yesterday. I don't know where he, one of his finds, where he found it at. But uh, I just thought it was really nice. But do you know that you can tell a lot about a person by their broom? Now, if you guys may think I'm, you know, I talk about I talk about all kinds of things. But it's the truth. You can tell about a person by their broom. You can take, look at my broom. It looks to me like I need a new one, doesn't it? I about wore this one out because I use it for everything. Um, but just look how you hold your, hold your broom. Here's my, here's here, up here. You, if you look at your broom, you, wherever you hold yours, that's where your marks what, are. What if it don't have any war spots on it? <laughs> that, that's a problem, Bonnie. <laughs> ours, doesn't have very, ours doesn't have very many. <laughs> uh, that is a problem, guys. <laughs> right? That's a problem. But uh, then look how I sweep and mine goes this way. Now, when you first get them, oh, I just hate them when you first get them. Because they're right, there's fur from that thing, that, that, you know, they're straight across. And so you're just having to sweep up and down like that. But pretty soon you get it wore in. But, you know, as I've gotten older, I, I'd hate, I used to mop my floors on my knees. There ain't no way I'd get down on my knees. I couldn't get up to save my neck now. But what I do is I have those shim claws, is it, Mommy? Some kind of a sham, sham. sham cloth, and I just love them because I've got hardwood floors, and they, stick to everything and, and they do you have to be careful with them. They do stick when you wash them, but I just get that wet and whatever. I'm, of course, I'm kindly funny about my other floors, so I just get it wet. Then I put it on my broom. Me and that broom just go to town. We and get you it all mopped see up. Her riding her broom to town, Bonnie. <laughs> I do not. She is so silly. This bottom one is really where she sits on it. That has nothing to do with it. No, it's not. No, it's not. You stop it right now. See, she's being mean today, isn't she? she? She's a character, I'm telling you. But anyway, I just think it's interesting. If you have a minute, just take a look at your broom. And by all means, when you go to visit, look at theirs and see how they use their broom. And then if they're not worn, you go, you get out and run. <laughs> I'm here. No, they're always worn. But I think that is quite interesting how... Uh, how people's brooms are but then again a lot of folks use the swiffers and all that kind of stuff i don't even own one of them i wouldn't know what to do with it okay chelsea i'm gonna go check the stuff in all here right, okay all righty let me see here Woo! good thing we came in when we did that corn was it didn't it didn't stick or anything but it was a getting getting there Okay, we'll get that down, and oh, the uh, the meat and potatoes and stuff looks really good, and it's just a going to town, a cooking. <laughs> Someone said, I'll be 74 in September. I still wash my kitchen floor on my hands and knees. Oh, girl. And then I, I crawl over to the chair to get myself up. <laughs> well, I can't do that anymore. I just cannot get in my head how to I'm, get up. It's a bad part of it. Back over there and let it oh, okay, honey, okay. go ahead. Hold on just a second. Let me get you guys situated again. We don't know if we're going to like that thing or not, you think? <laughs> All right, you guys, you can quit talking about me any old time. Nobody's talking about you. You're talking with me. That's right. What am I talking about? Oh, isn't this looking good, guys? I can't wait for it. Mm -hmm. It is looking good. <laughs> and I am going to make some cornbread. She's going to make her cornbread for us. 
I didn't even think a breath of it. I sure didn't. Now get it all over here so we can get it all put down where it'll. The potatoes are getting getting done. They're starting to break oh, up. Oh, someone on said, me. "What kind of meat is that?" That's stewing beef. Yeah, just little chunks of stewing beef, and I browned them off first, and then then I put my other stuff in. I'm glad I don't have to turn them one at a time. We got past that when we started cooking like this. And Chelsea will make us some cornbread and I'll peel us a cucumber. And if you guys want, I can show you how I make my cornbread. I don't know if you can get to all your cornbread stuff. Uh-huh, it's right there. I'm oh, going to okay. just bring them over to there. Oh, okay. Okay, as long as, so you, wanna, as, long as you don't knock them down. Nope, you want to heat the oven? Yeah, I sure will. I thought you said you was going to do that. Well, I couldn't in make I the cornbread at the same time. That, that makes a difference, doesn't it? I'm going to set you guys up here. And we'll make some cornbread. Yes. Tell her. Tell her it was so nice to meet her too. I love. I love it when I get to meet some of our viewers. So. Let me get these skillets out of there. Alright. She's going to get some skillets out. And I'm going to go find me a bowl. And mix me some cornbread mix up. Here Chelsea. And the bottom. Yeah. Do you need buttermilk or, or anything? I'm all right. You okay? Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm on my way. So I got a bowl. See, we're last minute people around here. <laughs> we're instant in season or out. I need the, um, I need a skillet in the oven. Got it. You have it up on 450. I have it up on 400 and something. I don't believe you. I had it on. You don't? All right. It's up on 450. I, I don't have one, Bonnie. You got me a skillet I can use? I do. Okay. I'm going to salt the bottom of the skillet first. Yes. Well, Mammy always likes to decorate her counter. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to add about two cups of cornmeal mix or so. Maybe a little more, a little less. Chelsea thought I didn't hear her say 450. You, I'm baking it in that? Yeah, this okay. will be fine. Okay. She's scaring me, guys. I don't want, I want lots of bacon grease in that skillet. Please. I know. Get on over there and bake. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so I've got that. I'm going to grab some buttermilk and some egg and some oil. You want to have green eggs and ham? Because I think there's green eggs in there. Is there? Mm -hmm. Got my buttermilk. What brand you got? Um. Uh, no. What is the other one that I like? White Lily? Yes. It's White Lily. I, Mammy does not add eggs to hers. I add two eggs to my cornbread. Honey, when I was growing up, you couldn't spare those eggs. Can I melt a little bit of oil? M oil? Mm -hmm. so, no, a little bit of uh, bacon grease. I've got it melting right now. But I need it. Okay, that's fine. I got it melting right here. I need a little bit more oil than that. To go in the bread? Yep. Okay. But I, I am, but... <laughs> but I'm her heifer. So that it doesn't stick. And since I'm using buttermilk, I'm going to use about a cup and a half or so of buttermilk. And I'm going to leave that there in case I need to. Oh, oh you're no. right. You're right. She's come a long, long way. It still makes me a little nervous. I'm proud of her. I am proud of her. Can we melt it? We're going to, we've got, got it on the burner here. Okay. Melting. It will be melted. 
Okay. It will be melted. I'm waiting. I'm going to go ahead and stir this up real quick. And then I can add my oil when it's done melting. Oops. Look, I'm still messy, though. Yes. Oh, yeah. That needs more buttermilk. There, that's better. I had a purple one. I didn't think. All right. Just waiting on my skillet to heat up all the way. We'll go over here and check Mammy out. Your skillet's ready. Oh, here we go. Now it's thickening. The gravy's starting to thicken in it. Don't that look good, guys? All right. So my oil is done. So I'm going to bring it back over here. Put you down here. Mammy says my oil's done. Here, you want this? Oh. There you go. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of the oil straight into the batter. I'm going to leave the rest of it in the skillet. I'm going to set this down. Stir my grease into here. I don't know that I'm going to get a sizzle. Oh, you just about get a nope, sizzle. Nope, I did. I got a little sizzle. That's what I was going to say. It was hot. Now, I could have had this cooked, Chelsea, if I'd have been in the other room. Could you? Yep. Oh, I thought it, that was a slow cooker in there. Huh? I'm going to throw this in the oven. <laughs> no, it's not a Excuse me. There you go. Open sesame. Ooh, that looks good, Chelsea. Gonna be crispy, I can tell by looking at it. All right, now we're gonna head this back over here. Okay, we won't be able to show them our, our uh, uh, cornbread, but we'll be ready to dip some of this up. Yep. Here in just a few minutes. Chelsea didn't make us any dessert tonight, but listen. But she, she. she Oh, yes. That's right. We could do that. Or we can put some of this jam on it. Yeah. Now, I don't know about chocolate jam on on the thing. Do you? I'd eat it. Uh, I ain't scared. <laughs> she would eat it. You do? She's our resident. Yep. Yeah. And she, she's, I'm sure she's gritting her teeth at me every time I open that because you guys can see it on there. Hey, my refrigerator just tells the story <laughs> of me. That's not on anymore. I know that. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I just didn't know. You just didn't know. <laughs> and I'm going to bake my cornbread for about 20 minutes, guys. Well, we probably won't be able to show it. No, we're not. Yeah. So we'll, no. be, we'll be ready here to plate some of this up here in just a minute. But well, we food. didn't share about our cookbooks. Oh, well, we got to do that in our aprons. <laughs> no, we don't. Oh, Chelsea? What? You're a slipping girl. No, I'm not a slipping. Okay. I got to get the camera situated. Okay. I tell you, that camera would wear me plum out. That's why we need another cameraman, but ain't nobody volunteer. <laughs> we'll, well feed you. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we would feed you. That's for sure. Okay, now, we do have two cookbooks. The black and white check one is volume one. The yellow and white is volume two. And, and oh, excuse me, uh, this one does not have as many canning uh, recipes in it as this one does, although they're equally good. Somebody asked me, they came in at the shop, and they said, well, if it were you, which one would you buy? I said, well, I'd have to go eeny, meeny, miny, mo." Because I like both of them. And she likes to use them as decor, too. Yes, I do. I like that. But so what she did is she put them behind her back and had her husband go eeny, meeny, miny, mo, And that's the one she ended up buying. Which one I was it? I thought it was it? so cute. The yellow one. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. But um, 
Now, Chelsea, how can they get the books if they... So, these books are $20 a piece, shipped. Um, you can either send me a message with your email, and I can send you an invoice. Just let me know whether you want both, one or two. And then, Or you can write a check to Chelsea Owens and send it to P.O. Box 157, Wilberforce, Ohio, 45384. Or you can come to Pappy's Place in Dean, Ohio at 61 West Main Street. Yes. Then you only got to pay $16 for it. That's so. right. <laughs> and there we're also selling our coffee cups and our tote bags. And our aprons. Yes. yes. Our, aprons. our aprons say, Goozle the Throat. Goozle in American English is a noun in South Midland and Southern U.S. dialect. The throat, the gullet, or the goozle. And then it has Don't Burn Your Goozle and our logo. And these are $16 shipped or $12 if you get them in the shop. Okay. And we have lots and lots of nice stuff in the shop, guys. We do. If you get a chance, drop by. Cause, uh, and besides that, we get to reminisce all the way through and stand and chit-chat and all that. <laughs> so, um, you know, we I really enjoy being up there every day. Okay, okay. Miss Chelsea. Do you have a tote bag? Somebody no, I don't have. I don't, we don't have one here. They're all up at the shop. I'm sorry. But I can bring one home to show next time around. Mm -hmm. Okay, Chelsea. Yes, ma'am. Are we ready to let me stir that one more time? Okay. And then Do you think I'm, your potatoes are done? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're looking good. Yeah. They're looking good. I don't even know how long we've been on. I don't know. You wore me out dragging that camera around. I got to do something. I know. And just work oh, I just out. have to stand there. Okay? Oh, there we go. This is getting to be really, really good and thick. The potatoes are helping to thicken it up. Mm -mm -mm. You guys just don't even know this is so good. I hope you make it. She got a mouse in her pocket. <laughs> okay, you want to get us a spoon? Yep. And I'll. Like a serving a, spoon? Yeah, a, a serving spoon. <laughs> I just didn't spoon. know what you wanted. You want this one? Yeah, that'll work. For one, I need another one for the other one. We got this right here. It's the one we stirred with. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to get some up on this plate. And I, ooh, the gravy is just thick and nice as it can be. And like I say, uh, I'll get a couple pieces of meat on that. She's not a big meat eater. No, I, I, not that I, I like it, but it doesn't like me too often. Now that was a funny one. Look here. I'm, I'm trying to dip the gravy with this serving spoon. Now you can't do that, Hannah Bonnet or Chelsea. You want me to help you? No, honey, I got it. Okay. I'll just get this little one over there. These are hard. Listen to them, blessing my heart. Lord in mercy. I live a hard life if y'all don't notice that. Yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> they just are rough on me. Not really. Not any rougher than I let them be. I'll tell you that. But there you go. And there's some of our corn. And then there's also room on here for some of Chelsea's good old cornbread when it gets done. And a cucumber. Or I'm putting, can't put any more onions because we'll have to eat the ones in here because I've you going to try it or no? Yes, or do you want me I to try? I mean, I could try it. Yeah, why don't you try it? You want me to burn my goozle? No, don't burn your goozle, I'm going to try it. Okay. Come over this way. I got to get me a fork. Oh, boy, that looks good. I got me a fork. You can't see me because she's Mammy's too tall. short. <laughs> I'm just... Potatoes are done. I'm proud. Too hot. You're going to have to... You're going to burn your goozle, Chelsea. It's good, though. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, blow it, for goodness sakes. You see her. She didn't bit more blow that than nothing. I'm going to try the corn, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. Looks good. You want to try it? No. I'll get you another fork. <laughs> she won't eat after me. I don't eat after anybody, guys. I'm sorry. They've got me so confused. My mom says I am, but maybe. <laughs> I thought I was, but I misplaced it. It was back behind me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just enough seasoning. 
that pepper garlic is really good, guys. I've had uh, garlic salt, but not with pepper, and I really like this. <laughs> Do the cats get any of the home cooking food? Mm-mm. Well, listen, here's... They cr mm, that corn is really... Mm. Um, the, the Goodwill? No. <laughs> the, the GW collection? No, I don't really go to the Goodwill anymore. I go to garage sales, but what is the brand of this one, Mom? Uh, I'm going to stand here and eat while they check out oh, Rich's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Signature Levi's. I don't need any cornbread for mine. Well, yeah, these are probably mine. These are Levi Strauss, but I also really like, I don't know if you can find them anywhere because they're kind of expensive, but Melissa McCarthy jeans are really, really good. I love them. And um, they they're fit good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Do they? Well, that's neat. Um, okay. I think this is it, Chelsea. Are we ready this to close corn out? This corn is delicious, guys. I'm going to tell you. You know, it's um, just a little tad of sugar and some salt and a little milk in it and cut it off the cob. Mm, it's good. Let me tell you. Yep, we're ready. All right. Guys, thank you all for bearing with us and coming and being with us this evening. And I'm liable to founder after a while because this is very good. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see you all next Sunday. Yep. Right? So, yeah, she don't we, know. Will, we will be here on time. You know, <laughs> yes, that's right. If the good Lord's will, and we'll be here, which we will. So, but I'll, if it isn't too hot, I'll cook in my kitchen. Chelsea just says, Oh, mammy, please don't. But I'll let her. Yeah, she'll let me. So, <laughs> all right, guys. All right. Y'all take care and have a good evening. And enjoy your supper. All right. Okay? Bye, guys. Bye bye. Oh man, I don't know what I just did. I just I don't know how to end it, guys. So just be patient right now. <laughs>